Shore Acres, St. Pete Beach, both areas of Pinellas County prone to street flooding, even during minor showers or thunderstorms. And climate change could be making it worse. Waterfront homes and landmarks could be impacted in our lifetime. The Tampa Bay Climate Science Advisory Panel studies rising sea levels. 10 News reporter Madison Allward spoke to Maya Burke, a panel member who told her the Tampa Bay area might be shrinking. Well, the bottom line in the report is that the Tampa Bay region is likely to see about two to eight and a half feet of sea level rise by the year 2100. Maya Burke is a member of the Tampa Bay Climate Science Advisory Panel, an organization that studies our climate. The main thing that we point folks to is the National Climate Assessment, and that's what is really the foundation for our recommendation. And those recommendations are based on science that's constantly developing. The real wild card is what happens with the ice sheets. Um, that science is evolving very quickly, and that's where you see the big divergence in the projections. We're looking at projections out to 2100, a time that we probably won't make it to, but it doesn't just happen overnight. So when you look at a year like 2050, do you have any sense of what we could expect then? Absolutely. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has put out a tipping point study. And for the city of St. Petersburg, uh, they found that that tipping point is going to come sometime in that 2040 to 2050 range. To prevent major damage, the panel has partnered with local governments through the Tampa Bay Regional Resiliency Coalition. Nearly 30 governments are involved from Citrus to Sarasota counties. The hope is these local governments can take the updated science and projections and make actual changes to the way our cities and and towns are built. For many of them, it's things like living shorelines um, or land purchases that allow space for sea levels to rise and for habitats to move further inland. Here in downtown St. Pete, the Emerald Necklace of Parks should protect homes and businesses. But over in Tampa, homes and businesses may be in more trouble. Uh, but Riverwalk is right there on the Hillsborough River, and so they don't have that same level of protection. The updated report is meant to help get ahead of the change before it becomes a problem. But we're not a chicken little kind of group. Um, we're not here to say the sky is falling. We're trying to give the best available science so that uh, policymakers and practitioners can do their jobs and protect the health, safety and welfare of the region. I think I see a few a few homes there now on the water. This year's report projects a range that's 12 to 18 inches higher than the panel's range from 2015. And she says that she expects these numbers to change again in another four years as science continues to develop unless we do something different.